This segment brought to you by Bravo Company USA. Hey gang, Larry Vickers, Vickers Tactical Channel. Today I'm out here with the CZ805A2. This is the first gen version of the 5.56 Bren assault rifles that CZ has brought to the market in recent years. If you're a follower of the channel, you'll remember that when we visited SB in the Czech Republic last year, we filmed the CZ Bren 2, which is the second gen upgraded, lightened, product improved version of this particular weapon. If you haven't checked that video out, make sure you go back and check it out. In many ways, much better gun than this one, but you need to see where it all kind of started. This is the A2 version, shorter barrel, under 11 inches. The A1 version has a 14 inch barrel. Now, adjustable gas regulator, and when you look at this gun, keep in mind, it's essentially CZ's version of an FN SCAR very similar in terms of the layout operating mechanism. Charging handle was reversible from one side to the other. Extruded aluminum upper receiver. Also, side folding buttstock back here and adjustable for length of pull. Selectors ambi on both sides. Now, one of the downsides of this particular gun for a modern military small arm is you have to put it on fire to load or unload the gun. When you have this thing on safe, you cannot pull the bolt to the rear and load or unload the gun like an AK per se. By modern standards, that's not really a good thing. You need to be able to keep the gun on safe and allow Joe Average to load or unload it. It has safe semi, two-shot burst, and full auto. If you're gonna have burst in a weapon, I'm a fan of two-shot burst versus three-shot burst. So CZ, to their credit, got that one right. Picatinny rails up top. This particular one is light and fairly heavy, chunky gun. So lightning like that is a good plan. The second gen version that CZ did is did dramatically lighter than this particular one. It also has Picatinny rails on both sides. I have my trusty aim point on top. One of the things about it here now, this uses an M16 style magazine. It was originally designed to use a clear polymer magazine that ended up being a failure. CZ re-engineered it to take an M16 magazine, but the problem is their architecture for the lower was more or less set, so the magazine released a very long stretch for your trigger finger. Unless you have Shaquille O'Neal hands, there's no way you're going to be able to reach the magazine release without pivoting your hand way far around, which is a no-go, especially in the era where everything's measured against the M16 and the M4. That's a no-go. Bolt release, you can manually lock the bolt to the rear, but to release it, you got to use the charging handle. They fixed that with the second gen version of this particular weapon. Cyclic rate of fire around 750 rounds a minute, weight around seven and a half pounds. We're fixing to light it up for you, Vickers Tactical style. We've got ammo on board, courtesy of Magtech. Stay tuned. Hey, Larry Vickers here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Click here to subscribe to the Vickers Tactical Channel and take time out to check out some of our other favorite videos.